Typhoon Nankut continues to intensify on its final approach to the Mariana Islands. Still a Category 1 with winds of 85 miles per hour now and a pressure of 967 millibars at midnight Shimoro Standard Time on September 10th. The storm is currently located at 15.4 degrees north, 150.5 degrees east and is a stage 3 on the CDPS scale, significant possibly major damage likely on the islands and that could end up being a stage 4 or 5 if the storm continues to intensify by the time it reaches the islands. 312 miles to go until it reaches Saipan, 358 miles to Roto which is still the favourite for landfall and 408 miles to Hagatna on Guam, just less than 2,000 now to Manila. A typhoon warning is in effect for Guam, Rota, Sinian, uh, Tinian sorry, and Saipan. And as you can see that is how close the storm is to those islands right now and it's likely to move through fairly quickly. So this is what we're looking at on the model run. You can see the storm moving into the islands on a Monday evening local time and then it will continue on into the Philippine Sea. Uh, still, the most of the models are expecting that the storm will continue to intensify after arriving on the islands uh, out in the Philippine Sea. En route to whichever island it chooses, a lot of the models saying different things still about this. There's a lot of uncertainty around it. And by the end of the week coming, you can see that the storm is going to be somewhere around the Taiwan area and possibly near the northern Philippines. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 29 or 30 degrees Celsius where the storm is right now. It's slightly cooler in the Philippine Sea before it warms up again when the storm nears the Philippine area and Taiwan. This is what we're looking at in terms of the wind graphic. You can see Monday evening the storm moving over the islands, possibly directly over Roto. It's still what the GFS is hanging on to in its model and it's been saying that for a very long time. And then as we enter the midweek period, the storm continues to intensify. Major typhoon status, possibly towards Category 5. Who knows how strong it's going to be at this point. Um, and then by the end of the week, you can see a very large wind field continuing to expand. And by the weekend, next weekend, Taiwan and parts of the northern Philippines will have tropical storm force winds according to that model run. Here's how it stands though right now. Percentage chances of tropical storm force winds, 98 at Rota, 88 in Guam, 20% in Santa Ana on the northeastern tip of Luzon, and 18% in Vasco on the Batanas Islands. This is what the models are saying. And, you know, not that many of them really saying Category 5 status, just the one right now, the CTCX, the JTWC doesn't want to commit to Category 5 status in its forecast either. Um, and that's because wind shear is not going to be completely lax, you just saw it there. It could be around the 20 knot range for a while, uh, coming soon as the storm moves over the islands, which is really what's preventing the storm from being stronger than it already is. 85 miles an hour, mid-range Category 1 at this point. It could intensify to Category 2, and if it really gets a shake on Category 3 by the time it reaches the islands, that would be a worst-case scenario for the Marianas. And you can see how it's been developing in the last few frames. This is about a six-hour period, so you can see how quickly the storm is moving. And considering it's already the early hours of Monday morning on the islands right now, by the end of play on Monday, it's likely that tropical storm force winds will be affecting the islands and possibly the passage of the storm itself with typhoon force winds currently 85 miles per hour with higher gusts. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. We also have a new server on Discord. You can find a link in the community tab. <laughs>